I'm Stephen Bentonen with Israeli News Live. There is interesting news coming out of Israel today. There was a bill passed uh, by the uh, Israel's parliament there for a Jewish state law. There's been a lot of opposition about this bill. The bill basically has been designed in order to strengthen Israel as a state, and yet there's been opposition between uh, Minister uh, Zippy Levini, who is also part of the negotiation team uh, with the nine-month negotiation that passed recently for the creation of a Palestinian state. She strongly is opposed against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and ironically, I'm very surprised to see uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu push for this uh, bill as well, to recognize Israel as a Jewish state. In fact, in the heated de uh, debate there, which was uh, uh, noted by Israel's National News on their website, israelnationalnews.com, uh, uh, they state that the Prime Minister, uh, actually after being confronted by the Science and Tech Minister, Yaakov Perry, uh, who says to him, this proposal will harm the fabric of relations, speaking about the two-state process that uh, Ms. Levini is trying to, to broker as well with the Palestinian uh, government, Mahmoud Abbas and others there. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu remarked back, it cannot be that Arabs can live in all communities, but Jews cannot. What is evolving is a state within a state, closed quote. I was very proud of the Prime Minister, and yet at the same time, because of him wanting to weaken the bill, you can see the tremendous political pressure that he is under uh, by the different nations forcing him, uh, but yet at the same time, him recognizing that something should be done, that, uh, that Israel truly is a people that, 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 uh, that God has brought us back to our homeland. As he stated in his address to the United Nations, when he quoted the biblical reference that Israel had returned home never to be uprooted again. In other news, a, uh, a Jerusalem uh, border policeman has been indicted by the prosecutor with Jew Jerusalem's district court. He filed a, uh, a charge against a border patrol officer who is unnamed at this time for killing a 17-year-old youth with a live round when he did have rubber bullets at a very bad riot uh, of over 150 rioters. The one youth who was 17 years old that was killed in the incident uh, was approaching him with his hands at his side when he was shot and killed, uh, well, according to that. Yet Israel National News shows a video that apparently is this young man being killed, but yet there is no blood whatsoever on the ground where supposedly his body was picked up and moved. Um, I have to applaud, though, the, the uh, Dr. Ben-Ari, who actually came to his aid in raising awareness of his situation and has called on the MKs uh, in the parliament to, to visit him in prison because he is in prison at this point and is trying to raise 20,000 shekels for his defense. His family is in a very serious need of that. We have posted that article on our Facebook, uh, Facebook page uh, Israeli News Live, you can visit that there. And uh, But again, I applaud Dr. Ben Ari for making that stand. I happen to, to know Dr. Ari as well. And, and God bless him for making the stand and the stand for the Jewish people. I'm Stephen Ben with Israeli News Live. Shalom.